Hi guys, <laughs> happy Monday. How are you guys? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys had a good weekend. So yeah, it's Monday. Ugh. Feed those ancestors. Alright, so, I had like a, last night I had like a, it, it wasn't a nervous breakdown, it was a little baby breakdown. It, it, and it's, it's, it's all revolving around Okay, so the traditional witches of, you know, of, of the past had to work their butts off to um, unravel and, you know, unveil the mysteries within the uh, traditional craft because that's what it's all about. And then we have today, so I mean, all these witches work their asses off and then today we have, you know, little snippets of uh, traditional craft lore and mythology um, and mysteries and, and partial secrets that just, you know, kind of float around the internet. So what happens when you take a piece of that and you put it in your pot um, of the New Age, the New Agers, and the Neo-Paganism and this new stuff, it destroys it, right? I mean, it does destroy it in a sense. It, I mean, it's kind of like... Um, like uh, 11,000 years ago when uh, when Great Britain had a, you know the incredible incredible woodlands and forests and then you know it was unmolested by man and then man came in and then they made their move and then completely wiped out most of everything which is what is going on today in this world so that's I mean literally what is going on we don't have any I mean, we have very little to none uh, you know natural you know just wild like areas of, of land and what's going on with the craft I mean you know the old craft traditional craft from from England you know I know you know I know English witches you know get kind of pissy with you know American witches and stuff but you know I'm it just kind of feels like you know um, those people worked so hard for their you know entire lives being initiated you know getting all the secrets the the, the codes everything that goes into you know your craft that what makes it personal what makes it work and then picking out little bits of that from little bits of information that these new age manifestors get it's it's ruining it is completely ru i mean to me it's it, it, it almost made me cry <laughs> i cry I, I could cry i cried last night watching pink and her daughter spin up in the air but i mean who wouldn't but it feels like it just feels like you know i i i personally don't want to give out any more information because it's like all these new agers okay well we're going to just take this this and this from a completely different religion and we're going to mix it into ours i mean i know that's how things evolve and improve always but why why does the old craft have to be mixed in with new age paganism with manifestation and then we have these people you know that are teaching manifestation techniques how to manifest what you want that's magic that's witchcraft and but they're covering it up and they're making themselves be feel better so if they're Christian or if they're Catholic or if they're Baptist or if they're Protestant or if they're Mormons or whatever you Mormons you know <laughs> Mormons Mormons sorry if you, there's any Mormons I doubt any Mormons watch my channel but then it, it, they cover it up and they think, oh, well, you know, I, that I'm an exception because I'm only manifesting. I'm not manifesting or I'm not, you know, practicing witchcraft per se. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. If you're using candles and you're using herbs and you're calling upon source or the all, you pretty much, yeah, if you're using, you know, all these different kind of candles like uh, break up candles and uh, commanding, any kind of commanding or controlling oils, that's not manifestation. I mean, it is. It is manifestation because it's desired, you know, our focus will on desired end result. That's what we want and that's what we get. But I think it's kind of funny that it is taken from the traditional craft and put in to this New Age manifestation stuff. I don't want to go any further with that, but I'll just say stuff. It, and it's funny because it fails a lot of the time because you do not have a complete formula, a complete construct. Because traditional craft is very, very, it's a very good formula. There is a formula in traditional craft um, a way of working, a way of casting, a way of hollowing the compass, a way of getting rid of things, a way of drawing things to us. There is a system of how our magic works and how the faith itself runs, how it you know evolves. And it always has a seed of 
truth from the past. So it's being built upon. But when it comes to the neo-pagan and the manifestation stuff, I think it's ridiculous and it really is offensive. It is truly offensive to me as a witch. I, th I don't know why I'm being so uh, over advertently exerting my opinion on this, but I think it's, I, I mean, just so many people. People, you know, using, say, the Ouija for, uh, you know, their, you know, their uh, propaganda. I and when they are clearly Roman Catholic. So, obviously, if you're going to use the Ouija to promote yourself, that is attracting. You are trying to bring people into you. It's all about this. It's all about the money. That's all it's about. So, it, it is just ridiculous, you know. And if you're not manifesting with God or Jesus, then if you're doing it another way, you're completely wrong. Oh, wait a minute. Let's backtrack 11,000 years ago. So, with, tradi with traditional craft over in Cornwall, uh-uh, no. We... We have the formulas. The witches have the formulas, and I wonder how many, you know, I just, you know, it, it just it, it really pisses, makes me mad. Sorry. <sighs> I need to go on blood pressure medicine, you guys, but it just really irritates me. It's really irritating me really bad. I mean, Tony Spera, all of this stuff going on with, you know, um, you know, this Ouija board, um, you know, his legacy and the Ouija board and stuff. You can't do that. You can't. I mean, these people attack, you know, our faith, our religion, and they try to demonize it. So it's like, let's just, why don't we just take ourselves back into the, into the Inquisitions? Why don't we just do that? Why don't we let that happen again? Because we're smart. It's not going to happen. But, I mean, it just makes me wonder. Where is, you know, 50 years from now when I'm gone, hopefully. Wait, how old would I be? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll be gone. Like, 89? <laughs> I would hope. <laughs> I don't want to live to see 89. You know, unless I have staff. <laughs> I'm joking. But no, if I do, I do. I, I, don't, I really honestly don't care, but it's like, what, what's going to become? You know, what's going to become of this? You know, I mean, when I go, everything that I have written down in like six, seven, I at least, you know, 20 plus journals of traditional craft you know, it, it, from, you know, all my years of studying, it's like, wow, really? What's going to happen to the traditional craft, the old craft, the old gods? What's it, what's going to happen? It's pretty sad, and it just, it, it just irritates me. And it, it's made me very sad. And if I look poofy, it's because I'm allergic to salmon. It's one of my allergies, so that's, I, yeah, I've never had that before. I can eat it raw, but I can't eat it cooked. So, I don't know what... Yeah, that's a very strange allergy. But it's just sad. It made me really sad to see some stuff last night. You know, and to see how people, you know, just kind of mix in what they want and, you know, try to figure out if it works or not. It's like, just leave, you know, traditional craft alone. Go about your own thing. Call it Wicca. Call it whatever. But, I mean, in essence, all the manifestors, all these manifestation coaches that think that they walk with Jesus and, you know, the only way that you can walk with, or yeah, the only way that you can get to um, a heaven or any kind of heavenly dimension and avoid hellfire is to walk with Jesus only. Please. That's ridiculous. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my entire life. And, I mean, it, quite a few people agree with that, too. I mean, it's just sad. It's really sad. So... I mean, everybody is going at, you know, something with a very dogmatic view. I, I'm going at this with a very dogmatic viewpoint, especially because of, you know, within the context of traditional craft. You know, I mean, people didn't, you know, bury their cauldrons and, you know, hide their poppets and, you know, go underground for so long because of the Inquisitions, only to, you know, have the, the secrets and everything revealed and, you know, misstrewed wherever they want, like an apple pie or, you know, like you like a coffee cake. There is a very set specific formula within traditional craft. Um, yes, the branches will be different, but I mean, you can see. You can go around and you can look and every, read in every tradition about every tradition. You're not going to get the secrets or the mysteries, which is very good. So I, I, I think that's going to save uh, traditional craft um, because not all traditional witches are going to give away a lot of those secrets. And yeah, so that's why some of the stuff I keep, a lot of it, it's personal. Um, but I like it that, what was I even talking about? I don't know. I forget. Oh, manifesting, I don't know, the manifesting people and the new age people and, you know, all these people that you know. But, I, I, yes, I am coming at this from a very dogmatic view. 
because I don't want to see it destroyed. That's how it gets destroyed. But um, then again, it's funny though because you know they're going to take a piece of this and that from you know traditional craft, put it in their pot, and say, hey, okay, here is how we're going to search manifest. So where do you guys think manifestation comes from? Hello, go back eleven thousand years. Keep going back, and then come to the present. So now we have the New Agers, we have the Manifestors, we have the Crystal Healers, and we have all this crazy stuff that just doesn't make sense. And then we have all these people that are worried about, you know, oh, well, you know, uh, this star sign is in this sign. And, you know, yes, the ancient astrologers did recognize that. John Dee is a very good example of that, going back to, what, the 14th, 16th century, 17th century with John Dee? He was uh, the uh, royalty's uh, astrologer and personal um, scriber or scryer, you know, vision, scrying. So, I mean, basically what all these, uh, you know, new, new age teachers teach in every faith or in every little clique, because it is like a clique, it's like high school. It really is. It's like we have all these little cliques of people that think that they're going to manifest and, you know, these people are the only, that's the only right way. This group, that's the only right way. So it's just like religion, organized religion, which is ridiculous. But then again, you know, it, there is room for, you know, improvement and stuff within traditional craft, which is really good. But it's just like, why? Why are you guys doing this to our religion? Why are you using the Ouija, Tony? Why are you using that when you are so against it? Would you associate your name and have your face put on a Ouija board? I don't get it. What's, what's the purpose? What's the rhyme and reason for that? What's the rhyme and reason for people trying to distort traditional craft? I just, it makes me not want to teach what I know, but I still will, so I think that's all I have to say about that. It just, it just really, really bugs me. It does. Especially the people that sugarcoat it with, uh, instead of, you know, practicing magic or witchcraft because it seems evil, uh, manifestation is the same thing. It's the same exact thing. And then the people that, you know, oh, well, these people really, truly have problems with the Ouija board because they really released something. No, they didn't. If you release something, it's because you have done that on purpose. It's your own fault, uh, consciously or subconsciously. It's your own fault. If you have a bad session, if you think that you've invited the devil in to you, there you go. You ask for and you get it. So, you don't need that much help. People do not need that much help from the board. It is ridiculous. You, I mean, it's, it's a car piece of cardboard. Think about that. It's a piece of cardboard. What we talk to is already out here. Nothing is in the board. So I don't get it. I don't get these people. Like, why? Why do you have to demonize the board? You know, and, and then all these people, you know, the New England Ghost Paranormal Society, which is, you know, um, the Warrens. Why? Why? You know, they, they demonize so much. And they speak out against the board so much. It's like, oh, it just, it's just irritating, and it's, it's disgusting. It makes me sick. It makes me sick to my stomach. So, that's just the way religion works, I guess. I don't know. I've just never felt this passionate about it and protective over it. I don't know what that, where that's stemming from. It could be stemming from the goddess. Um, you know, doing a lot of extensive research on her and, you know, her mysteries and the cauldron and the womb and the rebirth and that kind of thing, the mysteries in the cauldron and, you know, what, what she has to teach us. And thank the gods that, you know, that's a lot of internal stuff that we do and not a lot of us do give out those secrets when we do have a mystery that comes to light within our minds. Or, you know, we come to a realization that, oh, we've discovered a mystery, so we're going to journal it and we're not going to talk about it. Thank the gods for the witches that do teach, the traditional witches that do teach, especially for American witches that want to practice traditional craft, that is a thank you. I mean, thank you, hands down, it just thank you. Because, you know, it's enriched my life to the point where I am very happy. But then, you know, you get all these little other, like, you know, crevices and cracks, and then these people kind of slip in, and then they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna try to, you know, intrude, and they're gonna, very intrusive and very rude, and you know, it's just, I, I don't agree. I don't agree. If you're Christian, I do not think that you should be practicing witchcraft. I don't. I don't think you should be manifesting. If you think that Jesus is the only way, shape, or form to get to a heavenly dimension, I don't think you should be practicing any form of tarot cards, witchcraft, magic, anything. Um, manifestation equals witchcraft magic.
so I think everybody should just stay in their own sections. <laughs> Please, uh, um, single file line, um, like a cafeteria. But that's not going to happen, so that's just my weird warped way of thinking for right now. But yeah, it just kind of irritates me a lot. A lot. And I'm like, what's going to happen? You know? It, what's going to happen to traditional, the traditional craft and the old pods? You know, like when we're gone. Like all the traditional witches I know. What's going to happen to us when we're gone? But where's our information going to go? Hopefully to the grave with me. That's going to be in my will. But anyways, that's a little extensive right there. Just irritated. I mean, just irritated. So, alright, let's do some coffee talk. Wow, I'm looking at myself and my face looks really poofy. I've never, ever, ever, I will never eat salmon again, cooked or raw, ever again. At least I don't have to have any filler. No uh, Botox. Because my face, still it feels so tight. That, yeah, I like that. One good thing, one good thing about an allergic reaction. But yeah, I don't know, guys. I was just like, why? <laughs> Please explain to me why. Why? Why do you guys want to take ancient beliefs and put it into something else and, you know, sugarcoat it and roll it in sugar? I don't like that. I don't like that, personally. Like the meme of Nancy from The Craft, you know, back in the old days, uh, there wasn't a lot of glitter. Right there. Oh, I can't even watch I can't even look at my screen right now. It's got David Coverdale talking about Tawny Katane, and I just can't. The original OG Ouija Queen. And her shirt came today. And I literally about cried. I was like, I just, I love you. So, I do. I plan on trying to connect with her. Um, I want to get Rain and Winter's permission to contact her through the board. So until that happens, um, I will not be contacting her through the board. I just pray that she is in her heavenly dimension and that she can visit her kids, first and foremost, the people that she wants to visit. And then hopefully she'll come to her friends and her peeps, like she called them, peeps, not fans, peeps and friends, her people. So, anyways, I'm glad you guys like the oil recipes. There's more to come, I promise you guys. But yeah, those specific components of those oil recipes are definitely, definitely some amazing qualities. They have a lot of good qualities, especially when they break the blood-brain barrier and you put them on your, um, your pressure points. Um, definitely, especially Alice oil. That's one that you don't want to drive on. Um, because they do, you know, induce relaxation, they induce um, a slightly altered state of consciousness. So it's pretty amazing though, it's pretty, it's nothing like a flying ointment, so the traditional witch's flying ointment, it's nothing like that, so. <laughs> oh, so yeah, that's that, alright, let's see, Donna Melick, hello, shout out, Michael, hello, shout out. Lady Witch, hi. Gustavo, love you, brother. I love you, too. Very, 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 very much. I do. I love you. Um, Gustavo, yep, I think seeing one. Oh, um, the Hellhounds. Yes, the Hellhounds. Or the Wished Hounds. Melody Lee, my queen of negativity. Hi. Hi, my love. Do you just do first come first serve? Oh, for the live chat and the readings? Um, no, it, it's just whoever whoever pops up first. So pretty much, I mean, people, I mean, literally, kind of fight over it a little bit. I guess I think I don't know. Cu uh, Gustavo, hello. <laughs> uh, okay, Melody Lee, how do you? How do you doing readings for people? I've had a lot of stuff happening in my household and with my husband. How do I do readings for people? I read their energy. It's all about reading their energy. It's very psychological. 
I incorporate a lot of um, depth psychology and Jungian psychology in my um, in my terror reading, so it just helps, makes it better. Gustavo, thank you for helping me. Yeah, I will always help you. I will always be here for you. Gustavo, love you, dude. I love you too, my friend, my brother, always. Cindy Miller, hi. Hi, Cindy. Good days, brother. Yes, good days, except for today. Except for today because of the allergic reaction to Sky. Hi, Skyly Sullivan. Um, from the re re allergic reaction to the, the fish. So yes, I love your snake vertebrae necklace. Thank you. Yeah, it's vertebrae. The partial sun. Hi. Uh, Mystic imagination. Beautiful reading. Thank you. I would love to go there too. Ooh, yes. Let's do it. Let's plan on doing that. Okay. Let's plan on that. Hi, hi, the partial sun. Cole McLaren. Please chime in, Cole. Um, if you, um, see this video today. Robert O'Donnell. Hello. How are you? Uh, Narcos Zay. Thank you for your amazing comments. Lupe Love. Hi. Sasha Slaughter. Hi, my love. I love you. I miss you. Very much. My Gustavo, my brother. My Kim Lehman, hi my love, my sis, my my bestie, Lady Witch, hello, hello, my Cole. There, now the comments are really coming, the partial sun, hi you. My gosh, I'm afraid you're going to turn into a piece of bacon, always, well, aloe is always good, I heard people freeze it and then rub it on the burns as it thaws, yeah. I, I know, I, I, it's just, I always have to be outside. I'm always, I always have to do work outside, so. But, alright. Wow, I got blurry. Sorry, guys. I got really blurry there for a minute. Oh, there we go. Wow. My hair looks like crap. Yes, it does. It looks like total crap. Oh, well. I don't care today. I'm swollen, so. Yeah, like no wrinkles. <laughs> Yeah, chime in, guys. Witches. Traditional witches. Please chime in and let me know what you guys think. I want to know, so. If you want, you guys can go up here to mysticamber.com, enter my name, R-Y-A-N-E, all cap blocks, and you get 10% off your entire purchase. So, that's pretty cool. And I love you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Promise we'll go on with um, the, um, um, the Halloween ride of the wand. <laughs> but I had to get that out, so. But alright, everybody please be safe, stay healthy, don't go anywhere on me, don't, yeah, just stay where you guys are. So, I love you guys very much. All the way from Venus, always, all the way back down. Ooh, my deodorant smells really good. It does. I love you guys with all my heart. So, thank you guys for your amazing comments. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. I would love to know if you guys would chime in. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and I love you guys.